there, God. So this morning, we just welcome you in our presence, God. We welcome you in our praise. And we say it's all for you, God. All of our attention, all of our worship, God, is all for you. Come in at your presence. Come and let your presence fill our praise, fill our praise. Come and let your presence fill this place. Come and let your presence fill our praise, fill our praise. Come and let your presence fill this place for you. I don't want me one to me. Jesus, shine through all the praises that we sing. We have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place. We have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place for you. I don't want me one to me. And Jesus shine through all the praises that we sing for
When the
I'll bring you more than a song For a song in itself Is not what you have required You search much deeper within Through the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made, but it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. God, it's all about you. It's all about you. We want it all to it's be all about, about you, Jesus. Jesus. It's all you. about It's all about you. Good morning. Today we're going to be praying for YWAM Caribbean staff out of Colossians 1, 9 and 10. We have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. And we pray this in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may please him in every way bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. So, Father, today we are lifting up the staff of the YWAM Caribbean people through all the islands, lifting them before you, that you will have an encounter with them, that they will be in your presence today, that they will be hearing your voice, they will be knowing your will, they will be understanding your call on their life. Father, there are many that have decisions before them today, and we just ask that you pour out understanding, that you give wisdom, that you will reveal your plans in their life. Whether this is taking on new ministries, whether this is setting up new strategies for a nation, whatever it is that you're doing in their hearts, whatever it is that you're doing in their lives, Father, we just lift them before you and ask you, to reveal yourself to them. Father, it says, teach me to do your will. In Jesus' name we say, teach me to do your will. Oh, teach us, Lord, to do your will, to do your will. Teach us, O oh Lord, to walk in your ways. To walk in your ways. Teach us, Lord, 
to walk in your ways. Oh Lord, let us follow your will. Oh, guide us in your path, God, with your truth, God. Oh, guide us, guide us, Lord. We need your wisdom. We need your understanding. Yeah, bring revelation to our hearts. For what does your will? Guide us, Lord. Oh, Lord, grant us wisdom. Let us know your will, God. Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Would you guide? Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Would you guide us? Would you guide us? Would you guide us in your will? Oh God. Father, Romans 12, 2 tells us, don't conform to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will know God's will, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Thank you, Father, that that is how we are to know your will. That we aren't conformed to this world's image of you or their way of viewing you, God. But you teach us what it is. You transform our mind and you teach us how to know your will by knowing you, by knowing your word. So thank you, Father. Thank you for that, what you're doing today, God. I ask for revelation as different ones are seeking you today. Or they are in the word looking for you, God, that you will reveal your plans. You will reveal your strategies to them, God, that you will speak to each one, that they'll have encounters with you through the word of God today. We pray this in Jesus' name, that they'll have encounters with you today. We want encounters, encounters with you. We want encounters, encounters with you. We want to see who God. We want to know your will. We want to see you with our own eyes. Transform our minds today. We want to meet you in the secret place. Oh, pour out revelation on our hearts. Pour out revelation to our minds. We want to see you. Renew our minds. Oh, give us revelation of your will. Oh, give us revelation of your will. So we may know your will. Bring us revelation in the revelation. Come and counter us as we lay on our beds. Come and counter us as we do our task. Come and counter us as we. 
release of your spirit of wisdom we cry out to you God would you release your wisdom would you give us greater understanding for your will for your word for your plans in our lives for your plans in the nations where we serve for your plans to be able to transform and change lives and change nations God we're going to cry out for you for a greater release of the spirit of wisdom Yes, we want more. Oh, we want more of your spirit. We want more. We want more. We want more of your spirit. We want more. We want more of your love. Yeah. So we ask for more of your wisdom. You said ask and it will be given. So we ask for more of your wisdom. You said ask and it will be given. So we ask for more of your wisdom. You said ask and it will be given so we ask for more of your wisdom you said ask and it will be given so we ask for more of your wisdom you said ask and it will be given so we ask for more of your spirit so we we ask lord <laughs> for more of your wisdom more revelation you say ask and it will be given so we
receive your wisdom, Lord. We receive, we receive, we receive. We're going to go into a time of rapid fire. So if anybody would like to line up with a prayer that's on their heart, we're just going to say, Lord, that we're crying out for you to meet with the staff in Waiwam Caribbean. Lord, we ask that you would pour out your spirit of wisdom and revelation on each and every staff member in YWAM serving in the Caribbean region. Lord, in every island, pour out your spirit on them. Yes, Jesus, we pray that you would renew our minds so we would become expert of knowing your will and knowing which direction you want to go, Father. So renew our minds, for daily in Jesus' name. transformation Lord Jesus yeah God increase our capacity for more of you God bring revelation and knowledge of your will Jesus we just thank you for the promise that you give us in Proverbs that you give sound wisdom to the upright and so we just declare a breaking of confusion and the lies of the enemy of our brothers and sisters in YWAM Caribbean and we declare the release of your sound wisdom in Jesus name out life over every staff member in YWAM Caribbean. Jesus, I just pray for kingdom encounter, kingdom eyes, kingdom heart. Jesus, I pray for increase of your presence, increase of encouragement, increase of peace. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Lord, I ask that you open up their eyes to have a more deeper understanding of who they are in you, Jesus. So as they encounter you, that they can go deeper and deeper. That they may not lean on their own understanding, Jesus, but upon you. And that in everything they do, they do it for you, God. Jesus, I just ask for a new level of faith to rise there, God. That the people of the Caribbean, God, why one more so God will be shifted to a new level of faith, God. Father, where they would step out from their comfort zone, my God, and go in the uncomfort, oh God, to see your kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven, dear God. In Jesus' name. Build my life. Above every other name, 
Jesus, the only one that could ever say. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. Oh, we live for you. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. I for the YWAM Caribbean staff out of Colossians 1. And Father, in there it talks about understanding and wisdom being granted to us through your will, that we would increase that spiritual wisdom. And your word tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And that God, if we search as if for hidden treasure, we will 
understand the fear of the Lord and we will find the knowledge of God. Thank you for the way that your word speaks to us, for the truth and the foundation that it lays in our life, God. And we want to continually search for that. We want that hidden treasure to be revealed. We want the understanding of the fear of the Lord. We want to find the knowledge of God. We want to understand your plans and strategies for our lives, for our ministries, for the nations where we serve. We want to understand what you're speaking to us. We don't want your word to be a mystery. We want that revelation from you. So we ask God that you would bring the revelation. As we seek is for hidden treasure, you would bring those revelations to us. In Jesus' name, that you would give us, as we search for hidden treasure, you would reveal yourself to us. I counsel you by the gold refined in the fire. I counsel you to buy the gold refined in the fire. I counsel you to buy the gold refined in the fire. that gold of your wisdom Lord let us find your
we receive, we receive, we receive the hidden wisdom, the hidden treasure. We receive, we receive, we receive the hidden wisdom, the hidden treasure. We receive, we receive, we receive the hidden wisdom, the hidden treasure. desire of each one of us in the islands to live a life that is pleasing to you, to be bearing fruit, to be those who are obedient to you, those who hear your voice and step out and stand in faith, conquering the giants of the land, going forth in areas that we might tremble in fear because we don't know. It seems bigger than who we are. It seems greater than what we are capable of. But your word tells us that to, to please you, we just need a mustard seed of faith. And today we're asking for that faith to increase. So as we hear you, we will step out in obedience. We won't shrink back. We won't be intimidated by the giants in the land, God, but we will declare the truth of who you are. We will declare your promises in these islands. We will declare your promises in the ministries that you have as strategies to take back areas of darkness in the islands, God. We're crying out to you that you would give us that understanding of what it is to please you, that how we can imitate you, God, that we can live a life that's worthy of you. We live lives of love. We live lives where we're humble and patient and bearing with one another, God. Teach us what it is to do that. Father, we ask for you to pour out in the Caribbean staff today your plans, your promises, your strategies increase in them the spirit of wisdom and understanding increase in them the joy of living for you in the hard times and the challenges and whatever is there again today god we lift them before you each and every one that's serving you and for those who are stepping out and thinking of serving you would you meet with them today we ask in jesus name amen amen, amen.